All right, welcome back into another Dragon Ball Super Card Game video. And I want to take a little bit of time uh, to talk about some reveals, which I try not to do. Uh, I think it's a little bit of a lazy, you know, whatever content. Like if I was doing this full time, I'll probably do this. I'll probably do this all the time. But I wanted to do it because I think there's a lot of cool cards and um, there's a good amount of them. We're now getting right into set 20 for the new year. So happy new year, by the way. Um, I think a lot of these cards uh, give pretty good support. I've touched on some of them, but let me know what you think already. If you've seen the reveals for the, all the dash packs uh, in the comments below. And of course, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. You might be wondering what the heck are dash packs and how do you get them? So. Uh, I talked about this already. You either participate in the store tournaments uh, for the Zenkai series or buy six of the booster packs of Zenkai set three, uh, which is uh, BT20. The first one that they revealed a little while ago was support for the GT uh, spaceship. I talked about it already. It basically, uh, you can basically pay two when this guy is out for one uh, that has deflect and can KO something, or if it's 25k or, or more power, it gains double strike for the turn, which is pretty easy uh, when you have all like stuff that are ready um, boost and it's on attack, so you can just uh, swing with it and then you can boost. Well. You can boost it with something else with 5k, or you can play the pan and then swing with it, and then now it has double strike right after that. And the other part is that if you have four more energy and this guy's somehow still on the on the field, I guess you can pay one on four energy and then have uh three other energy to play with, and you can play the um uh the triple attacker on top of this, uh, which is cool. Uh, I do like this card, I talked about it before, like I said, so yeah. Now I did talk about how uh with black smoke i don't know if gt spaceship is gonna have uh very much viability for it uh but this card does somehow uh protect the um uh the spaceship unison uh so you can play it at four or less has double strike so it's cool uh since you can just swing uh combo a lot and then play this guy for free for two z uh z energy and the auto is that when you cho you choose up to one of your uh, red unison in the area, place one same card underneath it, and then um, uh, you get to draw two and add a marker uh, under the card. So it's basically the same thing as the other uh, uh, backside leader or the frontside leader. And then activate main is that you get to remove it from the game. Uh, and then you get to uh, choose one of your unisons, which is a GT spaceship, basically, add a marker to it and then gain spare from the, uh, until the end of the opponent's turn. So it gets to protect the unison, um, but it's only for one turn, uh, which is fine because Black Smoke has to choose uh, a unison in order to um, uh, get rid of it. So I, I think this is good enough. Let's just put it that way. Next one is Zanya. So the beautiful Slayer. This uh, is a two for one Z energy. I think this is really good. I think all the Bojack stuff is is pretty sweet. Um, uh, it has barrier for the two energy. And if you lead a card as a Bojack, you know, all of your energy is blue, which does include blue yellow, I do believe. Um, when this card is played, you play place one Bojack card from your hand in your energy to rest mode. So you basically get to ramp, which is cool. You get to KO this card and you play a Bojack card. That card gains barrier to the end of the opponent's turn. So a little bit of protection for any of the Bojacks includes the seven drop arrival, um, the yellow Bojack, I believe as well. If you really wanna play a little dangerous, I don't know how you're gonna do that with blue yellow energy, but uh, it's gonna be any of the other uh, blue Bojacks that we've seen um, in past time. I'm guessing it's the one that uh, is the big beefy 30K. I think the support's pretty good uh, since you can play things from your uh, your energy anyway as Bojack, and uh, you still have that broken zero cost uh, that plays from your your energy. So uh, I really like that. Uh, this is a heartfelt support. I think we've seen this one as well. If you have a Sun Goku GT card in play, you play this card from under unison, and then activate main. You uh, if you have three or more energy, you switch this to rest mode. Add two cards from your life up to two cards and choose one. Sun Goku GT or Trunks GT in your battle area and gains 5k for the power or for the turn. So this is cool with the support that we just seen. Um, so if it's, uh, this is an easy way to get to 25k and get to that double strike. I think also, um, I want to say, nah, you probably don't do that. I was going to, I was going to think about the other, uh, pan GT, whatever deck that you take to life and then you, um, 
uh, you gain double strike or whatever, but I don't think you do that here. I think this is just really good support for the uh, the card that we just saw. Uh, Gokua Cunning Slayer. So at the end of the battle, you use this card in your energy uh, from your hand or energy in the combo. You uh, play this card from your draw. So it's a 25k or 20k for one. Doesn't have protection, but that's no big deal. 20k for one is actually pretty good value in that deck. When you play this card, uh, when this card is played, you place one Bojack Brigade from your hand in your energy in rest mode. If you do play one of your energy and drop, uh, or place one of your energy and drop, um, and then you place your opponent place one card from your hand at the bottom of the deck. So a little bit more of this blue hand destruction. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, it's kind of weird because we have the Goku that reduce uh, their hand from like whatever to 10, I think. And then you just have this. Uh, you have other other cards that um, affect their hand, which is pretty surprising in blue. But it's cool to see, I guess. I mean, it's a little bit different. It's so a Bojack, Space Captain, Pirate Captain. I have dyslexia. Uh, it's a 20k um, double striker uh, that is played for one, I do believe, at the end of the uh, the um, maybe, uh, the combo. Uh, if you have three more energy, which is all right. You just add double strike um, basically to this and you just get that. When an opponent attacks, you choose use one of your uh, mono blue Bojack cards in your energy in a combo. If you do, add the top card of your energy to the deck. This is actually sweet. I actually like this. Uh, I, I do wish it had barrier. Yeah. But I think the reason why it doesn't is because of this card. So uh, this guy has barrier. And then he, uh, you get to play this on turn three. Uh, after you play it on turn two. And then you just have this to to use for the falling turn so cool uh golden frieza return of the why did we why did i think of this like it says return of the monkey yeah, that, that didn't make any sense return of the destroyer is four z energy oh oh that's a lot two uh deflect the double strike for each green unison in your drop reduces the z energy cost for one. Oh, okay that, that makes more sense so you need green energy uh green unisons in your drop to reduce it by two um so it's a two cost or two for two basically and then this is uh gonna be a green cooler support for sure auto if it's your turn when your uh green unison is placed and drop you choose one of your opponent's battle cards you know your bear ko it this gains 5k for the turn so it's 25k ko barrier and green, not bad. When your leader is a green Frieza clan, which is gonna be cooler. You have four more energy, you play one unison, a specified cost of three or less from your hand and marker on it. So that is gonna be the uh, dual attacking, KO everything. If you have a certain amount of markers, uh, Frieza. And uh, this guy has deflect, which is cool. Yeah, solid card overall, solid card, solid card. Another cooler supports and power three. Which is why not? It's a four, it's a four marker card now with five now. Uh, this is, the card has three more markers on it, which is gonna have. This card is played. Add one Z or green and card from your drop to your Z energy gains dual attack for the turn. So it is a 15k dual attacker that gets free Z energy, which is awesome for this card and others. That's just good. Like this is not this is good. Also, I don't know why. I don't know why they did this. Like, why? Why did they? Why did they make a Z leader for Trunks? Like, I feel like they're just boosting up Yellow just just because they're like, wow, these mass results were not that great. Uh, we would like people to play Yellow again. Uh, but it's a two Z energy for the Trunks Jita leader for one, which is cool. I like that they put a little bit of energy on that. It has critical for no reason. When this card attacks, it gains 5k, and then you get to do the same thing or draw. But the activate main is kind of cool because uh, you get to restand, I do believe. Yeah, you draw one card. Why? Why? You don't need to draw a card. Uh, and then restand the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and Trunks Father-Son Bonds, which has uh the critical or uh you pop two and then it has critical 30k as i understand which is just dumb it's just dumb like can we talk about that this is really cool because i really like that card it just didn't have it um protection and with yellow you can extend the game pretty long so you can just use the energy whenever you want uh you just have to be a little picky uh when you want to do it because it is a little bit of a a little bit of a energy not a non-efficient energy because you're paying two for the father-son bonds you're paying one here you're paying one to 
uh, Z energy. I don't see like this looks great on paper. I uh, I think it, it just with yellow is just a little hard for that energy. I would definitely need to see it in practice. King Cold, leader of the Frieza clan. So probably some King Cold stuff. Uh, unique barrier blocker. Why not? Reduced by one for each unit in a drop. Why not? It's a one cost now. Uh, <laughs> the card is a Frieza clan, which Green Cooler is. And then in the turn, when this card activates blocker. Uh, okay. Why? <laughs> I'm gonna activate bot. Why? <laughs> this is broken. This thing's broken. I gotta. I gotta play green cooler, dude. Why? This is. This is sick. I like this. This is sick. This is just a one cost barrier blocker that restands, and you're gonna have the green unisons to drop. Like turn three. By turn three, you can play that for one, for sure. Uh, Alliance of Rivals barrier one cost. Another yellow trunks future. Um, support. So it has the Son Goku and Vegeta, which is Vegeta support. So, you know, why not? Uh, but it also is uh, you're able to play it on the looter effect and you draw one uh, for, I mean, I guess the other ones do draw one. And it has, also has barrier. If looter card is both yellow and trunks of Vendita, uh, discard this card from your hand and, and you choose one of your opponent's battle cards, units and cards uh, with the energy cost of two or less to switch to rest. So I guess this is just like you pitch it, you rest a blocker or a unison. Um, and then you get to play it from drop. I guess that's it. Yeah. Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. Fight for the feature. Double strike. 25k. Is a limit one. You have three more energy. You draw one card. Yellow Sun Goku Vegeta with energy cost of one. So that's cool, I guess. Oh, it's the EXFL 2. Oh. So this card is going to be played with that. I don't think it restands. Oh, it does restand. Haha. <laughs> uh, Ace Evolve. And I guess. Um, it triggers the leader effect, huh? So you get to draw two on this. Wow. This card attacks. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards, units, and it can't be switched to active. That's stupid. Oh, wait. Until the next charge phase. Oh, wait, what? Uh, what's the point of this? I guess... I don't know. I actually don't know. Because if it's the next charge phase, they get the reason anyway, right? I don't know. Either way, pretty cool. Man, search for another world. Supreme Kai. There's a lot of Supreme Kai support for whatever reason. <laughs> but I'm with it. I, I really need to try this deck in Green Cooler. That's for sure. I, I like those two, two decks for sure. The card is a Black Kai. Uh, when a card is placed... Uh, when a card is placed from your life and by your looter skill, you add the top card of your deck. Oh, that's sick. That's actually sick. Because then now you can use the Overwhelm or Wormhole effect um, for free. You don't have the crit one. Like, you do have the crit one, obviously, but you get it right back. Uh, Bond 3, card with Zeno and his character's name. Oh, oh, oh. Choose one of your opponents. Okay, that's kind of hard. I guess the Bond is if all of them have Zeno in his name. Like, all of them, like Trunks, Peanut, Pan. Trunks, Pan, whatever. Cool. I like it a lot. And Goten. Uh, that's, that's a really good card. That's a really good card. <laughs> uh, double strike. 25k. If you have two more energy, you play one from your hand or warp. Whoa. Love that it's hand or warp. Because you can just overwhelm. It has to have a black eye. Nice. Uh, oh, not nice. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it gets removed from game. Uh, from your hand, draw one. All right. I mean, cool. Yeah, that's like an auto-include, right? That's not including your in your, your Kai deck. Because it just stays there. Like you can just stay there. It, it just 25k double striker that stays there and draws you one. That's sick. Um, uh, blocker, aging destruction stuff. So this is the stuff I'm excited for. Uh, I mean all those like honestly, all these cards are sick. Like I, I like all these cards. So one for one blocker. And the cards are backside Majin Boo. Uh, the front side is facing up. Uh, you have six or less life, and you have two more energy. You flip one of your leaders to the backside and draw two. Runes from the game. So it's basically a Vegeta card, Vegito card for AOD, which is cool. Uh, really good consistency piece, and I just like it. You look at cards black, you have three more energy. You place one of your Z energy in your drop, and then choose one of your opponent's battle cards and place it underneath the card and gain 20k power for the turn. So I think this is pretty much an auto include for any of the black leaders that are able to do this, and I think that's pretty much all of them. Um, yeah, this is good. This is good. You just have two Z energy and you get you get to remove something in, in a, a 25k body. So that's cool. Trunks challenging the Dark Empire. 
Oh yeah, this is the uh Overrun six dual attack nineteen K. This is the this is the fighting gets fate like um alternative. Like any any deck can play this, obviously. Uh but now uh Kai gets a, a free combo five K. So it's a twenty four K. Great design, by the way. I, I like this because now anybody can play it. It's not a zero for zero, because that's annoying. I think that's another kind of annoying like way to balance it. But I think this is a great balance because now you're incentivizing people to play Kai, but you can also play this in any other deck. Love this card. It's good. That's good. Oh, Mega Shenron. Like, why? Why do they make this? This is the whole reason why I made this this video. Uh, why? Well, not the whole reason. All of them are good. Eight cost deflect. It is a one. Activate main one. If you have looted card, is AOD in its card name and total number of cards. It doesn't even have to be like a Bobby too. Uh, total number of cards, agent destruction. Your names in the leader. It's Z energy. Z energy battle area and drop. Seven or more, you play this from your hand. So it's a one cost in the same way that Bardock's crew is works. I don't know why I say that. Three or more energy for your opponent has triple strike for whatever reason. And you play it, you draw one, or you get to remove something with barrier KO. I this is a good card for AOD. I it is really easy to get the seven, because like all your cards are AOD anyway, so like it's not gonna be a big deal to do that. Um damn, that's a good card. I like this. This card is good too. So two costs, Janemba. It's a uh, energy cost can't be negating in any area, which is all right, I guess. Uh, this, play, this can't be added to a player's hand, so you can't loop it. Um, this card is played. You draw one, which is awesome. Uh, and then activate main when you have three more energy. You add one AOD card other than this card to your hand, and you add it in a turn. You switch it to active mode. So what happens, as I understand, what happens is that you could recycle your counters you can recycle your offering to nembas you can recycle um the stupid the stupid this card why that's cool i like it um people are making a big deal about the wording uh that that uh what is it i i, I for whatever oh uh uh, add one Asian destruction card. I mean, we've been through this already. I made a whole video about Jojita and got flame for it. So, um, yeah, it's it's in battle area. Let's let's not go through this again. That's pretty much it. Uh, I think I went through everything. Uh, this is just some information. We do have Cumber finally, by the way. Just as a slip in for set 20. I don't know if I'm going to do set 20 of reveals. If you guys do want these videos, like I just like talking about cards sometimes. So uh, if you guys do want like me to talk about set 20 like please comment below like i really do not know what you guys want sometimes <laughs> like if you're watching this video and you got this far you obviously like me doing a reel so let me know in the comments below uh and like the video that that's that does really help um but yeah this is part of the new set 20 reveals that they're just now starting as of today uh as of this recording uh, this card is played in your leader area. You get a prison planet, which you don't know what it is. This is why I didn't really want to go through it. You tack, you draw one, uh, and then your life is at four or less. So if you have two of and a foo battle card, a Z battle card, which is going to be really easy. A lot, a lot of these decks do this. You just untap one, draw one, and then add to six. Cumber also draws one when you swing, and you choose one card you own in your opponent's battle area and gain serve it until the end of the opponent's turn. I thought that this would be good if you can choose either one as in like you can just you can just add servant to one of their their cards <laughs> and then just like they can't swing with it ever <laughs> like they have to get rid of it i think that would be the the coolest stupid effect ever because you're just like you're just like servant <laughs> like it's like, oh my z bottle card can't just can't like be removed anymore okay that's great um, but this one is more worded towards, uh, uh, the master Roshi stuff where you, uh, give them something and then you just use that as a, as effects. So I'm interested to see what the field card is. It's, it's going to be a field card, um, for the prison planet. I think that that got, uh, spoiled somewhere. I, I don't remember, but I am also interested to see Fu. Supposedly he's like on the level, by the way, per death battle, he's on the lo level of Zeno. So, I mean, he should be strong. Let's be real. All right, I'm done blabbing. Let me know in the comments below. Like, dislike, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.